exciting that we're able to come back together and, you know, uh, give, give Jesus, you know, you know, some praise and come together and worship him and, and, and come together. Amen. It's, it's a huge blessing. And uh, I know that I've been waiting for this day for a long time because it all hit like all of a sudden, right? Like, oh, man, out of nowhere, it's like, out of nowhere, you, you got to stay home. There's a curfew. You got to wear a mask. You know, you got to take all this hand sanitizer with you wherever you go. You got to do all this weird stuff, amen. But now it's like, it's like normal now, right? Like, it's like we kind of like everybody already knows that. But, um, but again, you know, we're excited that we're able to come back. And, you know, I, I hope that you guys are excited as we are tonight. And if you're, you know, if it's your first time here, you know, we, we're, we're called, we call it the gang. But it's called, you know, it's God's anointed now generation. Why? Because, you know, we're, it's an anointing now generation. And, man, it's like for, for this time, for this generation, and, you know, we consist of young adults. We consist of students that are in high school, you know, in middle school. And we come together because we love Jesus. Amen. And, you know, we, we come from different backgrounds grounds from different things but you know we come together because we know that God has done something in our lives and we're just so excited you know to be able to be here and tonight you know since it's our first night back you know we're going to talk about we're going to talk about the importance of coming together amen the importance of why is it so important that we come together why is it so important that you know we come to church and or we come here you know to lift up the name of Jesus amen but before we get started I just want to you know, again, thank God uh, for my salvation, for saving me, for delivering me. Uh, you know, I've, I've been saved for last month during, you know, the whole uh, staying at home. I celebrated six years of, uh, of being saved, amen. Six years of, of coming into the men's home. I was a uh, messed up, you know, drug addict. You know, I love to drink. I love to do drugs, and it, and it messed me up. I was lost. You know, I was in the streets. I, you know, I, I messed up, you know, a lot of good things that I had going with my family, with my loved ones. And it really put me in a dark place. It put me in a place where I had no hope. I had no purpose for my life. But I thank God that I came into this ministry of Victory Outreach here in Santa Rosa because it changed my life. You know, I no longer do drugs. I no longer, you know, serve the devil. But now I serve Jesus. Amen. And I got a, there's a joy. Amen. There's a peace about serving, you know, a mighty, mighty God. Amen. That we serve here tonight. And as, as you look around, there's many people here that have been touched by, by the love of God, that have been touched by the power of God. Come on. If Jesus has done something in your life, lift your hand up here tonight. Amen. If Jesus has done something, and if you know that Jesus is real, to keep your hands lifted high, amen. There's, there's a beautiful thing about the Lord, so I just want to thank him for that, amen. Thank you, guys. And, um, you know, I want to thank our, our founders, uh, Pastor Sonny and Sister uh, Arganzoni, uh, Sister Julie, amen, Ar uh, Arganzoni, for, for starting this ministry. Our ministry, you know, is over 50 years old, and it started in 1967, and, and they founded this ministry. They took in some drug addicts into their house, and it turned into this whole worldwide movement, and now... We're literally all over the world. We're, we're in the United States. We're in Mexico. We're in South America. We're in, in Asia. We're in Europe. We're in South Africa. We're all over the world, and man. So there's no limit to what God can do, you know, through this ministry, and there's no limit to what God can do in your life, and man. So we're just super excited. We're super excited to be back. We're super excited because, you know, we don't want to do, you know, gang the same. We don't want to be, you know, just young people, you know, running around, you know, wasting our time. But there's a purpose for our lives, and man. There's... There's a hurting world. There's a hurting generation. There's a bunch of young people that are lost and confused and messed up and lonely in dark places. Amen. And that's why God has called us. We're, we're a chosen generation. Amen. So, so we're excited. And we know that, you know, the Lord is moving and he's going to continue to move tonight. I also want to thank God for our pastors. Amen. Pastor Jose and, and uh, Sister Kim. Amen. For trailblazing this ministry here in Santa Rosa and, you know, for making an impact and for having the faith that they do. Amen. If you guys know our pastors, they have tremendous faith, amen. If you haven't got a chance to meet him, just know that we serve, you know, some pastors that got some crazy faith, amen. And in this time, it takes some crazy faith, you know. So we just know that we got some pastors that have some crazy faith. And not only that, you know, I, I also want to thank uh, the Lord for God's anointing now generation, amen. This, this is an awesome ministry, you know, full of uh, on-fire young people. You know, we have an awesome team that, that's been working together, you know, hard and, you know, laboring and sacrificing and making sure that, you know, every single week we can put something together. Uh, and not only put something together, but, but to pray and to believe that God will continue to move, you know, through this generation, through you guys. You know, through the life groups, and then through the preachings, through the sermons, and everything like that. So I thank God for this team. We have an awesome team, and I want you guys to know that this team is down. 
for you guys. This team is down, you know, to pray for you. This, this, te- this team believes in you, and this team has been praying hard for every single one of you guys throughout this whole, you know, coronavirus, throughout this whole COVID-19, whatever they, you know, whatever it is now. But, you know, we have an awesome team that loves you guys. Amen. I just want you guys to know that. Amen. And and then lastly, you know, I thank God um, that I got a down to, you know, for anything wife, amen, that I love so much. Her name is Victoria. She's a gang girl. She came out the home. She loves Jesus so much. And I thank God that she's on fire because she helps me to stay on fire as well, amen. So I thank God for her. And actually, I'm going to have her come up real quick. I'm going to have her just say something, you know, share a little word of encouragement with you guys real quick. Say what's up. I know it's been a while since we've been back here and you guys have been seeing us on the screen. You've been seeing, you know, the other core team on the screen. But she's going to just give a little shout out real quick. Amen. I'm so happy to be here. It's encouraging to see your face, your fearless faces. Like, you know what? I don't care what's going on in the world. I'm going to go get me some Jesus. Amen. And it helps me know that God is alive and active. Like, I haven't seen you all in a while, but I'm able to look at each one of you and say, man, God knows how to keep somebody. God knows how to protect somebody. God knows how to use somebody even in trials and tribulations. And to see that you guys are growing, too. Like, you know, that even though we're not, we're not getting together every single week, that you guys are still pressing into Jesus. You guys are still getting a hold of him. That's super encouraging. And I know that we're breaking into a new season. This is going to be a time like never before where we're being developed to be all that God's called us to be. We're able to see the power of unity. We're able to see the power of the cause of Christ. We're able to see how we can impact a generation, how your life matters, who who you are matters. And I'm excited to just lock arms with you, to fight in the spirit with you, to war with you, to take your burdens upon myself. And I know that we can do it. We could be all that God's called us to be, and that means more than we could desire to be, more than anyone could expect us to be, more than we could ever imagine ourselves being. We can be that because we have the power of Jesus inside of us, and we're not alone, but we're a part of the gang. Amen? So I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm fired up, and I can't wait to see what this new season has for each and every one of us. I love you guys with all my heart, and God bless you. Praise the Lord. Well, as you can see, that's why I love her so much, because she's always full of the Holy Ghost, full of fire, full of that anointing, amen. And it's, it's awesome. But praise, yeah, so we're, we're excited. You know, I, as you can tell, we're excited. And, you know, we, we really believe that God is going to do something, you know, great, and he's going to make an impact. And, you know, he's going to use every single one of us tonight, amen. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up in a word of prayer, and we'll get to the message, amen. Let's pray real quick. Heavenly Father, we come before you one more time, God, and we thank you for this generation. We thank you for God's anointing now, generation, God. I pray that tonight, God, that you would just speak a word of encouragement to everybody here, God. Our first night back together, God, as as your people, as, as this generation, God, I pray, God, just speak to our hearts, to our minds, God. I pray, Lord, that you would just take full control from this moment on, oh God. I rebuke the enemy, the lies, anything that's not of you, God, that's in this room right now, I cast it out, God, in the name of Jesus, God. And I pray for your spirit. I pray for your power. I pray for your anointing, God. And I pray that you will have your way in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Praise God. So so tonight we're going to talk about, you know, since since it's, we're coming back together, we're going to talk about the importance of coming together, amen. And, uh, you know, why, why is it so important that we come together? Why is it so important that we come, you know, not, not just in this building, but we come to, to gang, amen, and that we come, you know, to church and come here to, to hear the word and to hear the message. But we're going to talk about why it's important, amen. And we know there's a lot of crazy stuff. You know, everybody already knows there's so much stuff that's going on right now. There's the coronavirus, the COVID, all that stuff. And, you know, it's a real thing. People have been getting sick. People have been dying. And, and it's been crazy. And not only that, but we got a lot of other stuff. You know, we got a big movement going on, you know, right now as well. You know, with, with the, you know, there's a lot of hate going on. There's a lot of, uh, you know, crazy stuff that's going on in the streets. And, you know, people that, you know, that are processing. And, you know, there's a big cause out there right now, man. And, and we, have, we have a place in this generation to be able to stand and to be able to share, the, you know, the love of God. And, to you know, there's a lot of hurting people. There's a lot of young people that are dying. There's a lot of young people that are getting addicted to drugs and all this stuff, amen. And, and you know, God is looking to us. He's looking to us to really, you know, be bold 
you know, to walk with faith and not fear and to really speak life into this generation. I mean, he's counting on us. It doesn't matter how old you are or how, you know, young you are. Wherever you're at right now, God wants to use your life, amen, to make an impact and to make a difference. And, you know, that's why it's so important that we come together with everything that's taking place, you know. Um, the Bible says in, in Matthew 18 and verse 19 through 20, this is what the Bible says. It says, I also tell you this, if two of you agree here on earth concerning anything you ask, my Father in heaven will do it for you. For where two or three gather together as my followers, I am there among them. And best believe there's a lot more than two or three people in this place, amen. Normally there would be a lot more people be because of the whole guidelines and everything, you know, we have to limit the seating, we have to limit, you know, the space and the moving around and all the stuff that's taking place. But I want to let you know that Jesus is already here. He's amongst us right now because there's two or three or more of us in this place right now. So the Spirit of the Lord is here, the power of God is here, amen. And wherever God is, anything can happen, amen. So how many of you guys came expecting tonight? You guys came believing, expecting, amen? You guys came ready for something? Well, best believe if you have an attitude of expectation, God is going to do something, amen? Jesus is going to do something tonight, amen? Because he's here. Like the Bible says, where two or three or more are gathered, there I am among you. So best believe he's in this place. Best believe he showed up, amen? So don't be scared now, you know, don't walk away now because he's going to do some, amen? And if you believe that, come on, give, give Jesus some, some noise tonight, amen? So, you know, why is it important that we come here? Why, why, do we, why should we just, you know, stay home and just watch another online sermon? Why? Why is it important that we come here together, amen? Well, the first thing, in, again, it's boring being at home, you know what I'm saying? There's nothing to do at the house. You know, some of you guys are probably so fed up. Some of you guys are probably like, man, I'm done playing this game so many times. I'm done, you know, watching this TV. You know, you probably watched every single Netflix show. How many of you guys have watched a lot of Netflix, amen, and played a lot of games while staying at home, amen? How many of you guys have learned something new while staying at home, amen? How many of you guys got, got in trouble while staying at home, amen? Yeah, I see I see Tori over there smiling. <laughs> I see a couple of you over here smiling, amen. Well, I know, hey, and that's the thing. When, when you're at home, when you're bored, when you ain't got nothing to do, it's a recipe for disaster, amen. It's a recipe for doing something you ain't supposed to be doing, amen. So, you know, why is it important that we come together? Because there's no good at being at home. There's no good, you know, being isolated or just, you know, being in your own room or being in your own head and being in your own mind. But there's an importance of coming together. Why? Why is it important? Well, the first thing is that coming together makes us stronger. Amen. That's the very first thing. I mean, I don't know about you, but, you know, sometimes, you know, we can... You know, we, we can be, like, weak-minded or we can have, like, thoughts or different things that are going on within our life. But when we come together, it makes us stronger. See, no matter where we are in our faith, coming together provides us with strength. And I don't know about you, but sometimes I get tired. Sometimes I'm by myself and I, and I start thinking stuff or, you know, I, get, I, I start feeling a little weak or I start feeling like I can't do things no more. But when we come together, it has a way of making us stronger. Amen. Being around people of faith or being around God's anointed now generation, come on out. God's anointed now generation gives us a chance to learn and to grow in our faith. Amen. You see, I don't want to stay the same. I want to continue to grow. I want to continue to get stronger for God, stronger for this hurting world, stronger for this generation. And when we come together like this, we, we get some, you know, we might we might come come in here only able to lift five pound weights or 10 pound weights. But when you leave here, best believe you're able to lift up 25 pound weights, 50 pound weights. You're able to bench press a little bit more. You walk out with your chest a little bit higher because you're full of the Holy Ghost. Amen. You're full of Jesus. And that's what makes you strong when you're full of Jesus, amen? So when we come together, it makes us stronger. When we come together, we remember that God makes us strong. You see, I can't make you strong. Nate can't make you strong. Her can't make you strong. Victoria can't make you strong. But God can make you strong. 
And best believe when we preach from the Bible, when we preach from the gospel, it doesn't matter if you're in middle school, it doesn't matter if you're in high school, it doesn't matter if you're a young adult, but God can make you strong. God can give you some strength. God can give you some energy. God can fill you with whatever you need to make it to the next step. Amen. And we've been, you know, we've been, we've been up, you know, we've been in here and, you know, we've been filming our videos. We've been, you know, filming our sermons and doing this, doing all this stuff, but it's not the same. Amen. Being on the other side of the screen. Yeah, God can still speak you. Yeah, God can still make an impact. But there's nothing like being in the place where the word is being preached. There's nothing like being in a place where there's atmosphere of worship, where there's an atmosphere of praise. But it's important that we come together because it makes us stronger. Amen. It makes us stronger. And that's, you know, we got to remember that, you know, we, we can't do nothing on our own strength. We can't do nothing on our own, but we can do everything in God's strength. Amen. The Bible says that nothing's impossible for those who believe. So if you believe, if you're, if it's your first time here tonight, and the, the Bible is saying that nothing is impossible for those who believe. Amen. So if you're going through some impossible situations, if you're going through some difficult times, if you're going through some family matters, if you're going through some personal things, I want to let you know that there's nothing impossible for those who believe. So if you've been praying for a miracle, if you've been searching for some power, if you've been searching for some new strength, I want to let you know that God's strength is in this place and God's strength is here for you and he can lift you up amen and he can give you whatever you need to get through whatever you're going through amen because God is counting on this generation amen so that's the first thing you know why is it important that we come to gang why is it important because it makes us stronger amen it makes us stronger and know that the devil don't mess with strong men of God the, bio, the, the, the devil don't mess with strong women of God. The devil's always going after people that, that haven't been with God, people that don't spend time with God, people that are, you know, spending time doing things that they shouldn't be doing so they can easily be tempted. You know, they can easily be convinced. They can easily be manipulated. But when you spend some time with Jesus, when you come together with God's anointing now generation, amen, when you come together with the people of God, it has a way of stirring up some strength, amen, and the devil know that he can't mess with you because you're a child of God, you're part of God's anointed now generation, and you are a chosen generation, amen? So we come together to get this strength, we come together to get this energy, so the devil don't mess with you, because, you know, he wants to mess with people that aren't spending time with God, he wants to spend time with people that are, you know, feeling isolated, or feeling a little weak, because he wants to get to you, amen? But Lord, don't let that happen, come together as, you know, come to gang, come to the services, you can, you know, get that strength that God wants to give you, amen, it's important, amen, the second thing, the second thing, the first one is we come together because it makes us stronger, amen, the second thing is that we come together because it provides encouragement, amen, it encourages us, amen, when we come together, we get encouraged, we get motivated, we get inspired, amen, and, you know, for us young people, we got a lot of things going through our mind, amen, we got a lot of things that, you know, that, that, you know, we might be tripping on. We got a lot of things that, you know, sometimes, you know, we think too much. And sometimes, you know, this and that and, and, and on whatever else is taking place. But, hey, if there's a better place to get encouraged, it's right here in God's anointed now generation, man. Because we got young people that are on fire. We got young people who care about you. We want, we got young people that want to, you know, let you know who God is. We got young people that want to continue to feed you the word of God. Amen. And it provides encouragement. That's why it's so important that we come together because I don't know about you guys, but I, some, there's times where, you know, I can feel, you know, depressed or there's times where I can feel anxiety. Or there's some times where I can feel alone. Amen. But when I come to God's anointing our generation, man, when I come, you know, and I surround myself around other people who love God, around other people who God has done miracles in their lives, around people that have been able to do the impossible because they believe and they have faith, then it has, it does something to me. Amen. And that's what it's doing right here. It's providing encouragement. Amen. See, we all have bad moments and face many things in life. Raise your hand if you've had a bad moment today. Amen. Raise your hand if you had a bad moment this week. Amen. Yeah, see, everybody's raising their hands. We all have bad moments. We all face things in life. Why? Because we're young people and we're human. Amen. And we're people and, you know, we're going to face things. We're going to go through things. We're going to have, 
more than one bad moment. We're going to have many bad moments, but what are you going to do about it? Are you going to stay in that moment, or are you going to rise up, you know, and allow yourself to get encouraged, allow yourself to get motivated, allow yourself to get inspired by the word of God, amen, by the people of God, by people who care about you, by people who love you, by people who want to see you succeed, amen, because believe it or not, there's people in this world that don't want to see you succeed. There's people that want to see you die. There's people that don't want to see you move forward in life. There's people that want to see you struggle. There's people that want to lie to you. There's people that want to tell you that you're not good for nothing. There's people that want to just see you just, 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 just fall on your face and keep falling on your face and staying on your face and staying on the ground, but not here, not in God's anointing now generation. When you come into this place, it provides encouragement. It provides boldness. You know, God is able to let you know that you are more than enough, amen, that you are a masterpiece, that, excuse me, that you are a beautiful person, amen. But, you know, the, the, that's what it does. When we come together, it provides encouragement. You might come in here with your head down, but best believe you're walking with your head up high. Amen. You're walking out with your head up high. You're knowing that you're a child of God and that God loves you so much. So it's important, you know. You know, sometimes we can come to a place where we feel really down. How many of you guys have felt really down recently? Amen. There's some of you guys, uh, you know, sometimes we can come to that place. And that place can be a huge danger for us, amen, when we, when we feel isolated and we feel down like we don't have nobody or, you know, nobody cares about us or, you know, we, we got no purpose in life. It's a dangerous place to be. But, you know, low times in life are why it's so important to come together, amen. It's so important to come together because, you know, you, know, you could be, you know, thinking whatever, you can be doing whatever. But, it, you know, it's a very, it's a very, when you're in a low place in life, it's important that you surround yourself, amen, around people of God. It's important that you come, you know, to God's anointed now generation so you can get encouraged, amen, because there's a lot of people trying to, di I don't even know if this is a word, there's a lot of people trying to disencourage you. Is that a word? Any, you got any people that, you know, no, discouraging, there you go, this, <laughs> but, you know, there's, 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 uh, there's, there's, there's words, you know, that, that I don't know, and there's things that I don't know, but, you know, I was even talking to a couple of the guys the other day, and I was like, we got a group going with a couple of guys of, you know, every every week, on, or we just started this, but on Mondays, we're trying to figure out, you know, what's one thing you want to learn this week, and what's one thing you want to accomplish this week, and everybody was texting, and everybody was saying, you know, what, it, what they want to accomplish, and what they want to do this week, and what's the thing that I said? I said that my grammar sucks, I need to get better at writing. I need to get better at spelling. I need to get better at knowing where to put my commas and my apostrophes and my periods. Because I'm the type of person that, what I learned in school, I'm the type of person that does a lot of run-on sentences. You know, I just keep on going. I don't know where to stop. You know what I'm saying? I don't know where to put a period at. I just keep writing, and then I just keep putting a comma, and I keep writing, and then I put another comma, and then I keep writing, and then I put another comma because I'm not finished yet, you know? But I'm learning I'm learning that that's not how you write. That's not how you, you know, that's not a proper paragraph. or That's, that's a run-on sentence, meaning that you keep on going, that you need to learn to stop, you know. <laughs> so there's some things that I'm trying to learn. That's, that's what I'm trying to learn this week. I've been, you know, searching up some things on how to, you know, get better at my grammar, get better at myself. You know, I, I did graduate high school, not by a lot. I barely did. I had to go to night school. I had to go to all these different types of schools just to get through school, you know. But I thank God that, you know, that he saved me, that he delivered me, amen, that I was able to get through it, amen. And again, I know that nothing's impossible for those who believe, amen. So best believe by the end of this season, maybe by the end of this year, you guys got to give me some grace, though, too, all right? So maybe by the end of the year, you know, when I start putting, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, you know, get better at, you know, putting the periods and putting the commas, but that's my goal. So I just want to let all you guys know that so you guys know. And uh, if you want to challenge me to write a paragraph or to write a story or something like that, you know, you got to give me some grace right now. But wait, wait three months and see what happens. Amen. Praise God. So, I, yeah, so, you know, when we come together, it, it, it provides encouragement. There's, you know, there's many things that, that happen. And, you know, when we spend time with the gang or men of God or women of God, it will lift us up from that low place and help us to keep our eyes on God. Amen. Because, you know, sometimes our eyes are not on important things. Sometimes our eyes are on things that, that are only making us go down. Or, and our eyes are on things that are not benefiting us. Amen. 
So when you come to gang, when you spend time with people, you know, part of God's anointing our generation, it helps you to keep your focus. It helps you to keep your eyes back on Jesus. Amen. It helps you to stay focused and to keep your eyes on God so that you can continue to move forward. Amen. See, God also works through people to provide us with what we need in darker times. Amen. How many of you guys have faced some dark times? Amen. There's a couple of you that faced some dark times. How many of you have been able to come out of those dark times? Amen. And how many of you, you know, how many how many of the people that God used to help you come out of those dark times? Amen. Because the Bible says that we're the light. Amen. We're the light. We're the light of the world. Amen. We're, we're the light of the world like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. That's what the Bible says. Amen. So every single one of you guys, you are the light. Amen. Whenever you walk into a dark place or whenever you walk into a place where somebody's dealing with dark times, you are the light. You are the one that is able to bring encouragement. You are the one that is able to bring strength. You are the one that is able to lift up. Amen. You are the one that is able to rebuke the devil. You are the one that is able to rebuke the enemy. You are the one that is able to stand for the people that, that, you know, are your friends. You are able to stand for the people that don't have a voice. You are able to stand for this generation. You are able to make an impact because you are the light of the world. That's what the Bible says, that you are the light. Amen. So whenever dark times try to come up, whenever, you know, dark, you know, certain times that you go through in life, you know, there, there's, a, there's, a, there's a place where there's many people called God's anointed now generation where there's a light shining here. There's a light shining right there. There's a light shining right there. There's a light shining all over this place. Amen. And guess best believe where wherever there's light, you know, what does the Bible say? That darkness cannot overcome the light. Amen. So wherever there's light, the devil can't do nothing there. The devil can't defeat you. The devil can't beat you up. The devil can't lie to you. The devil can't do nothing to you because the light is there, and the light overpowers darkness, amen, so we're the light of the world, and, and just remember that, that you are the light, amen, and the Bible says in Hebrews 10, 24 to 25, it says, let us think of ways to motivate one another to acts of love and good works, and let us not neglect our meeting together, as some people do, but encourage one another, especially now that the day of his return is drawing near, Amen. So the Bible is saying, let us think of ways to encourage. Let us think of ways to, you know, to motivate one another. Let us think of ways to do acts of kindness. Amen. Because I don't know about you, but back in my day, we were used to doing acts of not kindness, no kindness. Amen. We were doing a lot of dirt. We were doing a lot of mean stuff. We were doing a lot of evil stuff. Amen. But now that we got God in our life, we can think of ways and we can do acts of kindness to people. Amen. We can share God's love. We can lift somebody up. We can bless somebody. Amen. We can go to our schools. We can go to our colleges. We can go to our works. And we can encourage somebody because you are the light. You are chosen. Amen. By God especially. Amen. And see, coming together helps, you know, if you're going through dark times, if you're going through some stuff, I want to let you know that coming together helps to provide a healing process for you. Amen. If you've been hurting, if you've been dealing with some pain, I want to let you know that when you come into the presence of God, amen, when you come around some fired up, you know, God's anointing now generation that has a way of healing you. Amen. It has a way of, of delivering you. Amen. So that's that's the second thing. You know, when we come together, it provides encouragement. And the third thing is that coming together reminds us that we're not alone. Amen. I want to let you guys know right now that you're not alone. Amen. God's anointing now generation is not just here in Santa Rosa, but God's anointing now generation is all over the world. What does that mean? That you got people all over the world that are praying for you. You got people all over the world that are believing for you. You got people all over the world that are believing the best in you. I mean, there's people all over the world that, that are getting down, amen, that, that are rebuking some enemies, that are fighting some battles, amen, that, that love God, amen. And there's so many people, you know, we're not alone in this world. Gang is all over. There are people of God all around us, amen. There, it doesn't matter where you're at in the world. When you meet another person of faith, you feel right at home. I mean, that ever happened to you when, when you're somewhere and then you, you meet somebody, you know, that's, that, that loves God. You meet somebody that loves Jesus. It's like right away you connect. Right away you feel like, oh, man, we cool. We brothers. We sisters, you know. We, we, we connected somehow. You know what I'm saying? And it has a way of feeling at home. And I want to let you know that, you know, just like that, there's people all over the world that are praying for you, that are believing in you. 
and that love, you know, God's anointing now generation. So, you know, that's why it's important that we come together so that you know that you're not alone. You're not fighting this battle by yourself, amen. You're not fighting, you know, the darkness, or you're not fighting, you know, the devil alone, but you got a, you got people up in this place, amen. You got some warriors, you got some gang girls, amen. You got some people that are down for you. You got some people that are that are ready to fight, that are ready, to, you know, to lift up the name of Jesus, that are ready to fight the battle with the word of God, amen, that are ready to rebuke some devils, that are ready to rebuke the enemy. We got people up in here that believe, amen. We got people in here that are not afraid. We got people up in here that are down, to pray, that are down to, you know, proclaim the name of Jesus in the street corners, that are down to proclaim the name of Jesus wherever they go. So we got to know that you're not alone. That's why it's important that we, that we come together. Amen. You know, you know, that's why, you know, God made it so important for us to come together as the people of God so that we know that we are never alone and so that we can build lasting relationships, amen. We're here to build friendships, amen. We're here to, to build something, amen, that's going to last. We're not just trying to build stuff like the world does, you know, fake friendships, you know, people that just want to tear you down, people that just want to make you look bad, people that don't want nothing good for you. We're here to build lasting relationships, amen. We're not here to waste your time. We're not here to play games. We're not here to make you look bad. We're not here to talk bad about you. We're not here for none of that. We're here to build lasting relationships, amen. This is God's anointing now generation, amen, and best believe there's people of faith that encourage you, amen. The world doesn't want to see you succeed, amen. There's people that you might think are your friends, but best believe they turn their backs on you and they say stuff about you and they talk mess about you, but not God's anointing now generation, man. We love God. We love people, amen. And just know that there's people here that believe in you, that, that, that want to see you succeed, that want to see you move forward, amen. And sometimes, you know, it's not easy to hear the things that we want to hear, but just know, like the Bible says, that it's done out of love, amen. It's out of love to encourage, you know, to inspire, to to help you, to get go in the right direction, amen. Because we want to see everybody, you know, follow God. We want to see everybody, you know, have God in their lives, and we want to see everybody succeed, amen. And that that's the third thing. The fourth thing, um, or like the Bible says right here, I'm going to read one more scripture. First Corinthians 12:21. It says, "The eye can never say to the hand, I don't need you. The head." can't say to the feet, I don't need you, amen, and best believe this, we need each other, amen, as God's anointed in our generation, you can't do this on your own, amen, you can't fight the enemy on your own, you can't fight the devil on your own, you can't take on this world on your own, but we need each other, amen, to back each other up, we need each other to lift each other up, we need each other to encourage one another, amen, we need each other, just like the Bible says, the eye can never say to the hand, I don't need you. I can't ever say to Nate that I don't need you. I can't ever tell her I don't need you. I can't ever tell Victoria I don't need you. We need each other, amen, because we're a generation. We're a chosen generation, and we're the army of God, amen, and, and just know that, that we need each other. That's why it's important that we come together because we need, you know, each other, amen. We, we need the presence of God, but as we come into the presence of God, we need to be able to, to be, you know, to, to lift up each other, amen. And lastly... The fourth thing, why it's important to come together as the worship team makes their way up. And then we get ready to close here. The fourth and final thing, why is it important that we come together? Why, why, why? The first one was it makes us stronger. The second one was that it provides encouragement. The third one was so that we know that we're not alone. And the fourth one is coming together helps us to grow. Amen. Because we don't want to stay the same. You know, we don't want to just, you know, have year after year go by and we're just in the same place in life. No, we want to continue to grow. And I'm not talking about growing in, you know, possessions or, you know, money or, you know, your bank accounts or things like that. I'm talking about growing in the things of God. And then growing in the spiritual things, growing in the word, growing in what God is doing in your life. Because God wants to do something, you know, beautiful with our lives. He wants to use our lives. There's a purpose. We have a purpose, you know. And we were born with a purpose, amen. And God wants to continue to grow us. He wants to continue to build us. He wants to continue to guide us. And that's why it's important that we come together because it helps us to grow, amen. Coming together is one of the greatest ways for us to grow in our faith. You see, we can read our Bibles and we can pray. And those are great ways to get close to God, amen. Those are great ways to get close to God, get close to the Lord. But coming together like this, it helps us to grow, amen. It helps us to, to connect with each other. It helps us to, you know, bounce off, you know, what is God doing in your life? What is God doing in your life? Hey, I want to share this. I want to share that. Amen. It helps us to grow. You know, we're able to teach. We're able to preach. We're able to do many things. But coming together helps us to grow, 
Amen. And when we come together, we teach each other things. Amen. See, God gave us a gift of learning and growing so we can show each other how to live as God wants us to live. Amen. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm tired living my way. You know, I've been tired. You know, I came to Victory Irish over six years ago because I was tired of living the way that I was living. And I wanted to live the way that God wanted me to live. Amen. And, and that's why, you know, I, I wanted to change my life and I wanted to do, you know, follow God and, you know, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 14, 26, it says, Well, my brothers and sisters, let's summarize. When you meet together, one will sing, another will teach, another will tell someone revelation God has given, one will speak in tongues, and another will interpret what is said. But everything that is done must everything that is done will strengthen all of you. Amen. So tonight as we stand in this place, amen, we're going to get ready to close. And we're not going to do an altar call or nothing, but just right there where you're at, you know, right there where you're at, just remember and know, you know, why is it that it's important that we come together. It's important because, you know, we get encouraged. We get inspired, amen. We know that we're not alone. It makes us stronger and it helps us to grow. So, you know, I want to challenge every single one of you guys to continue to stay faithful to God. Continue to stay faithful to come into the services. And then continue to stay connected to the life groups. Continue to stay connected with, you know, somebody, the part of the team or any, any leader on the team. Stay connected because when we come together, it does something powerful within our lives. Amen. See, I want to just share this. And with this, I want to close. Our generation... Our generation needs God's anointed now, amen. As we come together, we're going to be stronger than ever, amen. We're going to come together more radical than ever, and we're going to come together more on fire and more determined. Come on. If you want to be more on fire for God, make some noise right now, amen. If you want to, you know, have God in your life more than ever, if you want to be a radical woman of God, a radical warrior, a radical gang girl. We're going to come together. And as we continue to come together, we're going to be stronger than ever. We're going to be more on fire than ever. We're going to be more on radical than ever. But it's going to take coming together to lift up the name of Jesus. Amen. Hey, what's up, gang? Thank you so much for joining us. It's always a blessing to be able to worship together. So don't forget to subscribe and follow us on all our socials.